expected massive influx of tourists in Arkansas. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley spoke today with RDOT officials to learn how Arkansas motorists can best prepare. He's live in our newsroom now. Andrew. The expected increase in population has officials concerned about the potential for a fuel shortage or gridlock on Arkansas roads. RDOT is reminding folks to prepare just like you would for a winter weather event and encouraging drivers to fill up their tanks in advance of the eclipse. But if you end up with an empty tank and stranded the day of the eclipse, RDOT is prepared to come to your rescue. Keep your car stocked with any you know, emergency items that you might need, medications, water, snacks, anything that would you might need in case you get stranded. Um, now, if motorists do get stranded, they run out of gas, there's gridlock on the highway, anything like that, we will be there to help. We will have vehicles along the um, congested points of the highways with fuel and, and supplies for stranded motorists if it comes to that. RDOT also says it would be wise to fill up an extra gas can. KATV engineer Jim Drew did just that today when he topped off our satellite truck. You know, I don't think we need to go crazy in this event. We don't want to panic, but fill up your tank the weekend before, the week before, and if you have an extra gas can lying around, fill that up as well. RDOT has been preparing for the eclipse for years, it says. As the eclipse approaches, it is stocking up on gas for itself and others. First responders like police and fire departments should they need it. RDOT has fueling points at all of our maintenance offices, and those serve as an emergency backup for state police, for emergency vehicles, for um, official state or local vehicles that might need to fuel up and maybe they don't have access to a, a typical gas station, they can always come to our maintenance office in case of emergency. And just a word of warning, RDOT says it expects that the worst traffic won't be in the days leading up to the eclipse or even during the celestial event itself, but just after when everyone tries to get back on the road. RDOT also says if you don't have to drive the day of the eclipse, it might be wise to avoid it. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, following Jim Drew's lead is always a recipe for success. Thanks very much. For more information on what to expect during the eclipse, check out our digital story on KATV.com.